Hey kids, Mr. T here. I've got a little challenge for you that's going to involve concentration, tracking an item with your eyes, and a little bit of cardio in between each of the five rounds that we're about to play. Now this is the bowl game, and I didn't invent it. It has been around for years and years and years. We have three bowls or cups. I've got bowls. They must all be the same, so we don't want them to be different because then it's too easy to track. And under it, or one of them, we are going to put a ball. Shuffle them all up. Your job, if it starts on the number two, as I start shuffling, your job will be to try and follow the number two bowl to see where it ends up. Because then at the end of the uh, mixing process, you need to make a decision. Is it under bowl one, bowl two, or bowl three? And if you get it right, on the next slide of the video, you will do a particular exercise. If you don't get it correct, you will do a different exercise. Now, you can set this up at home using bowls. Now, I went down to our lovely kitchen um, classroom and got a cup. Now, it's plastic, so it's not going to cause any damage. However, if you look closely, you can actually see through it, and it's going to be very easy to follow the ball because there it is. I can see it. So you do need to, when you're choosing um, your bowl or your cup, make sure it is a solid colour and you can't actually see through it. Okay, let's get this challenge started. We are starting underneath bowl number two. These two bowls are both empty at the moment. So, ready? Here we go. Okay, there's round one. Did you track it? Do you think it's under bowl one, bowl two, or bowl three? When we do the reveal, we'll always start with bowl one. So if you're waiting for bowl one, because that's where your cho choice is, let's have a look. Not today. It started under bowl two. Did it finish under bowl two? Yes, it did. So if you guessed it correctly, and bowl three, not there. If you guessed it correctly, do the activity on the next slide that it says to do. If you guessed it incorrectly, then you do the other activity. I'll see you in a moment. Go and do some exercise. Okay, let's start this time under bowl one. So, empty. Okay, let's have a look. Are you ready? It's under bowl one. There we go. How closely did you watch it? Do you think it's under bowl one, two, or three? Let's have a look. If you guess bowl one, nope. Bowl two, nope. That must mean if you guess bowl three, you are correct. Okay, next slide. Follow the activity that you have to do. See you back here in a moment. Good, good. Okay, let's, in the name of fairness, we started under bowl one, we have started under bowl two, so let's start round three under bowl number three. Okay, so it's empty and ready. Okay. How, how did your eyes go on round three? One, two, three, make your decision. Let's have a look. Let's reveal. Oh, there it is. It's under bowl number one. If you guessed it correctly, you know you've got an activity on the next slide. If you guess it incorrectly, then you do the other activity. I'll see you back here in a short moment. Off you go.
okay. I hope not only is your heart rate up, but maybe a little bit sweaty as well. Get that activity into your body. You need 60 minutes every single day. That's what our goal is. Okay, let's go under number three again. So two's empty, one's empty. All right, round four. There you go, a quick one today. Which one do you think? One, two, three, let's have a look. Whoa, it's under one. If you guess one, you know what to do. If you guess two and three, you know what to do. See you back here in a moment. Okay, four rounds of the bowl game. Let's start underneath bowl number two for our final round, round five. If you, I wonder what you've got. Have you got all four correct? Have you got three? Have you got two? Have you got one? Have you not been able to track any of them? It doesn't really matter because in between each round, you have been active. So with my books, that makes you a very big winner. Being active is very cool. Okay, let's get round five done and dusted. It's starting off under bowl number two. Here's your last chance to get it right. Is it one, is it two, is it three? Let's reveal bowl number one. And it is under bowl number one again. All right, for your last time, head to the next slide and do the exercise that you need to do. There you go, kids. So there, there's a game that you can set up at home. Remember, try and use plastic bowls. Ask an adult to make sure that you're allowed to use the bowls and play the game. Um, you don't need to use a table tennis ball. You can use a scrunched up piece of paper or anything small that actually fits underneath the item that you're using as your cover. Whether it's a bowl or a cup, make sure you can't see through it and have some fun with your family and friends. And remember, stay active. Stay healthy and whatever you do, make sure you're having fun. See you later, kids.